Hello everyone, welcome to the HR 365 Leave Management Application. Here I'll give you a brief overview on the Leave Application Management System. Our application is very intuitive and highly configurable for a manager or HR to manage leave applied by an employee. It covers almost all aspects from applying leave through approval and later checking the status of a previous month or current year. As a manager, all the requests for leave and comp off of reportees can be viewed. An employee can also view leave and comp off request status. Here, a user can get the status of all previous leave requests, those pending, approved, or even rejected. An employee can apply leave from the self-service portal or directly from this application. Here, the user can select the leave type as casual, medical, comp off, or restricted. As an HR admin, these leave types can be configured or more can be added as required. In this case, this employee is applying for a casual leave. You can define the title of your leave here. The start date is intuitive. As soon as you select start date, it will prompt you to select the end date. Here, a manager is automatically defined. It will pull up from the records and gives the ability to add an additional manager for the approval. In certain scenarios, when a manager is on a long leave, another manager can be made as an approver and can also get the status of leave. If the user is not certain, a leave request can be saved as a draft and later apply leave or directly send it for approval. As soon as the user clicks Submit for Approve, it would send an email to the manager. The leave would be then added in Manager Action. This is the email format regarding the leave request to the manager. The manager has the ability to approve the leave from the email link or from the application also. Once they click on the email link, the manager will get a leave request form along with the Approve and Reject button. As soon as the manager approves or rejects a request, an email is sent to the user regarding the status of their leave request. The manager also has the ability for bulk approval. Here we provide different tabs for applying leave, check leave status and drafts, in process approved and rejected. The user has the ability to track the comp off status, an employee can rise a comp off for any previous day he worked on, and the manager can approve that comp off. That would stay and get added into the leave record. As a manager, all requests for leaves and comp offs for a particular day and particular month can be viewed and can check particular user info as well. As an HR executive, this tool gives the ability to apply leave on behalf of the user. This comes in handy when an employee is not applying the leave for certain reasons. In this case, HR can apply on behalf of the employee. We can configure leave management application settings from the HR 365 portal. This application is having a two-level approval workflow. Once an employee applies for a leave, the manager can be considered as an approver. However, in certain organizations, HR is the final authority after a manager. So second level approval workflow can be enabled from settings page of HR 365. This page can be initiated with annual casual paid leaves, medical leaves, number of restricted holidays, annual leave, start date, and end date. This is a calendar year which can be defined. Once defined, it would be reflected to all employees all calculations would be done. Based upon this, we can define number of hours per workday, how many leave hours and total working hours. It would also have the ability to define and to add comp off policies and avail comp off policies. Thank you for spending time with us. I hope I have covered most of the important points. If you would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us.